Storm won again, mate, you're number 12 for the season. Uh, they did it without Cameron Smith and Cameron Munster uh, against the reigning Premiers. Uh, suffice to say, the gold standard lives on under head coach Craig Bellamy, who's just come off the training paddock and walked straight into an interview on NRL 360. Craig, thanks for joining us. Tell us, wh why have you got the team training uh, in the evening? Uh, we just thought um, we, ha we hadn't played at uh, Bank West yet. We didn't play there last year, so uh, well, it tells us how slippery it is. So, um, put a bit of water on the field tonight and, and uh, trained in the dark. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, gives a little bit of a feel of what it's going to be like on uh, Thursday night. Hang on. So you had the hoses out and you turned the lights off. Is it, did I hear that uh, right? <laughs> we, we had the hoses on. We didn't turn the lights off. So, yeah, no, we, we, we only had half of them on. But, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, like I say, we hadn't played at uh, Bank West, so we wanted to make it a little bit different up here tonight. So it was uh, a little bit different. And... Uh, and just a little bit slippery. So, um, yeah, we got out with uh, what we wanted to and uh, uh, looking forward to Thursday night. All right, tell me, what, what pleased you most about the win last Thursday night? Oh, I think it's... Um, the thing that pleased me most was probably uh, the combination and organisation from, um, you know, but our key position players, our spine. I thought, um, you know, Hughes and, and Jack's done a great job in the halves, Brandon Smith. Obviously, taking the uh, you know the place of uh, Cameron was was really good, and obviously, Pats was the um, I suppose the guy that's that's been there all year. So um, yeah, I just thought I, I love the way that they they combined and and they basically when we did get under a bit of pressure, they they handled that really with cool heads, and um, that's probably um, something that you know we hadn't been so good at when you know if Cameron hadn't played um, and 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 Munster as well. So. I was really happy with the way all those guys played and how they uh, uh, that they kept the team cool under a bit of pressure. Craig, we've seen a tremendous toll taken on clubs with injuries. What's it going to take to win this year's Premiership in light of that? Yeah, oh, well, I think it's going to take a few things, Paul. I think um, number one is a little bit of luck, you know, through injuries, especially uh, your key position players. If um, you know you lose too many of them or um, they're out for too long. It's, it's going to take a, a huge toll. You know, the, the season's been so different anyway with you know what's happened worldwide. But um, you know, I think a, a little bit of luck with injuries, but um, also you know adapting to I suppose a new style of play. I, I don't think it's been for me. It hasn't been probably quite as different as I thought it'd be. But certainly, um, you know, the, there's a lot of games that have been you know very quick and the ball has been in play a, a lot more often than. Um, than usual, so uh, that sort of takes a little bit of a toll as well, especially in a season where you're not getting any breaks for Origin, you know, throughout the year. So, um, you know, a few of the younger guys that have come through and you know haven't played a lot of first grade, I think you know, going week in, week out at this intensity uh, takes a little bit of a toll. So, um, obviously, a little bit of luck and a little bit of good management is going to help as well. Craig. Have you had a chance yet to sit down and have a proper chat with Cameron Smith about next year? I know you've got, you know, Harry Grant hanging on the decision and surely the club needs to know what in the next couple of weeks? Oh, we'd like to know, Phil, but, uh, you know, as, as I said before, and I think I had a chat with you a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, we haven't really put it on, on Cameron yet and hopefully he'll, he'll make a decision reasonably soon, but... Um, as I said, it's been a, a whole different year. Um, for us, it's been, um, you know, a real different year. You know, we went to Albury for a couple of weeks and then, then we went back to Melbourne, then we went to Sydney for a week and, you know, we've been up here for nine weeks. So it's been a big disruption, you know, um, for our players and their families and um, Cameron's family isn't up with us at the moment. So... Uh, it's been, you know, really difficult for, for those guys. So uh, we don't want to put pressure on him at the moment. Um, we just want to, you know, when he's ready to make that decision. Um, as I said before, you know, the club has made, um, you know, they've got a couple of options if he does play and then if he doesn't play, um, you know, with our salary cap. So um, hopefully that'll work out um, OK. So at the end of the day, you know, we don't see any any great need to put too much pressure on Cameron at the moment. And, um, but, you know, as you say, at some stage, we'd like, uh, you know, to get, to get an answer. But 
um, as I said, you know, it's been really difficult times, um, especially with with us moving like we have. Um, yeah, so at, at this stage, we'll uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get an answer in a couple of weeks or two. Craig, the big news out of last weekend was Kevin Proctor and the biting charge labelled against him. You've coached him for many years. Did you have a view on the incident? I didn't really watch the game. Obviously, I've heard about it. Um, I, you know, I'd find that very, very surprising uh, that that you know Kevy did that. Um, you know, again, for me, um, he's always been a really clean player and, and a, not a um, a guy that loses his temper or, or loses his cool or anything like that. Obviously, um, you know, there's talk. Of obviously, he found it really hard to breathe, but. Like I say, for me, I, I, you know, I, and he says that you know, he, he didn't bite him, so I, I believe Kevin. I think he's a, a really good guy, really genuine guy, really down-to-earth guy. And, um, you know, I, like I say, I haven't looked at the uh, division closely, but, you know, if, um, if, if, Kevin's, tell, if Ke- Kevin's telling everyone that, I, I, I believe him. Craig, you said before how impressed you were with the, the players in your spine last Thursday. And I'm wondering, with your fullback Ryan Pappenhausen, do you, do you do you see shades of Billy Slater? Could he possibly end up that good? Oh yeah, I think so. Um, you know, he's to be quite honest, he's only really early in his NRL career at, at the moment. You know, I don't know how many first grade games he's played, but he hasn't played 50 yet. So uh, you'd like to think, um, you know, that he's going to keep improving. He's going to learn a lot more things, especially playing with guys like uh, Cameron Smith and Cameron Munster. Um, and and we've got Billy, you know, that uh, talks to him regularly on the phone and was doing some work with him, you know, before, before our shutdown. So, you know, I think he's really, um, he's only scratching the surface at the moment. Obviously, what we see is his great pace. Um, he's as tough as, tough as old boots. He'll put his head where, you know, you wouldn't be going to put your foot, but... Um, I think just learning about the game and fine-tuning his skills, you know, I, I just see a lot more improvement in him. So I'm not quite sure he'll, um, he'll be, you know, up there with Billy at the end of his career, but um, I don't think he's going to be uh, far from it. No, he's looking good at this point. I'll tell you what, the other bloke that's looking good is Jerome Hughes at halfback. You've got a habit of manufacturing good halfbacks down there in Melbourne, but it's been quite the, the journey for your number seven. I mean, he's come a long way in two years. Take us through the bloke that turned up uh, underdone from a, a, a tour with the Kiwis to what we're seeing today. Yeah, well, it, you know, he come down basically as a fullback and back up to Billy. And um, I remember he coming back from that tour and uh, he come back in terrible shape, to be quite honest. The, uh, um, I'm not quite sure what he was doing during the time, just laying on the lounge after the tour. But we give him a bit of time off, and um, unfortunately, he didn't use that time too well. But um, he learned from his mistakes, and um, since then, he's always come back in, in good shape. Up, you know, in the, uh, the start of our pre-season, then after our, our Christmas break. But um, again, it's, it's taken a little bit, a little bit of time. You know, I know this time, or well, this time last year, we. Made the decision, that, you know, to put your own in at halfback, which wasn't, um, again, that was widely criticised at the time, and I wasn't quite sure that was the right decision either. But um, he's come on really good this year. He's he's just starting to get a little bit of confidence. Um, he's he's taken a little while to get that, and he's he's probably been a little bit injury prone in his career as well. But he seems to be getting on top of that as well with some um, working really hard with his prehab, uh, you know, before before training. So. I think, you know, he's a, again, he's a really smart footy player um, and, and very naturally gifted, but he's still working hard on those skills that the halfback needs. Um, but, you know, he's come, come a long way, and I think um, he had his best game um, on last Thursday night as a halfback with our club. Uh, and I think that's a really good sign when, you know, the two Camerons weren't there, and uh, he really stood up and... Um, and, and let our side, you know, right from the first minute to the last. Now, some bad news today for you guys. Dale Finucane tore a calf. He'll be out for six weeks. I know he's one of your favourites. How big a loss is he going to be? Yeah, he's, um, it's a massive loss for us. He, he's a guy that can play big minutes. Um, you know, out of our starting forwards or our start, starting ruck players, he's, you know, he's a guy that um, 
can uh, play long minutes even when he gets under fatigue and under stress, you know. But um, but other than that, he just leads the way with his aggression. He's he just loves his footy. He's one of those guys that you know that's footy's footy's everything to him, you know. And um, we're really going to miss him. But um, I know he'll do everything he can to get back as soon as he can. I, the, obviously the uh, diagnosis doesn't look good. You know, six weeks that takes us right up to the semi-finals. But um, no and day, he'll, he'll work overtime to get back and hopefully we'll, we'll have him back a little bit before that. All right, Craig. Well, uh, good luck Thursday night against the Parramatta Eels and thanks for your time on NRL 360. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Head coach of the Melbourne Storm, Craig.